For practice at self-check 5.25 scanner you typed, we're asked to write a piece of code that prompts the user for a number and then prints a different message depending on whether the number was an integer or a real number, and then we're given samples. So we know we'll need an if-else statement and not a loop because we're only doing this once and depending on our answer we are going to output something um, that is tied to that. So we'll have our if and we only have two possibilities so we're just going to have an if and an if else this could also be written as just if and else but I like to state explicitly what is happening in my else so in here we'll have a scanner that takes in user input and we need to make a system dot in and then after this we're gonna prompt the user to um, type a number. So we'll do system.out.print and in here we will write type a number and then after this we are just going to get that value in our scanner. But we don't need to do it right here. We can do it in our if and our if else statements. We can say if input dot has next int we are going to be in our if statement and then we are just going to system.out.print you typed the integer and if it's an integer we are just going to have a plus and then have a input dot next int so in our if statement um, or the first thing that happens is that this is read out into the console and then the user types something in because we have this input has next int and we also have or we're going to have an input has next double here. If it's an int, it'll print this out. And if it's a double, it's going to go into our if else statement because our double is going to hold the input dot has next double. And then in here, we'll have a system dot out dot print. And then we will type you typed the real number plus and then double or this should be input dot next double. Once we have all of this, we can finish it off with a semicolon, submit it, should actually switch this. This is supposed to be else if, not if else. And then this should be system dot in. Once we correct that error, and this is supposed to be else if, we have passed the test. So this is the way to code for this problem.